Hi guys. Today we are going to do um, Stonehenge. Okay, and try and draw some rocks. Okay, so I've got one picture and I'm using a mixture of some of the pictures um, and combinations of what we're going to do. So we can try and draw a mixture of some of this and look at the backgrounds and the grass around. And oops, ran the wrong way. And this picture, I particularly like this picture because I like the effect that you can see the grass close up and I like the way that you can see the sun rising and gleaming through the rocks. So we're going to use a combination of um, a couple of pictures and put it all together. Okay, so first of all you need your paper in landscape position. So landscape is side to side. Okay, um, what I'm going to say is we're going to draw the rocks. If at any time you may have done your rocks too big and you can't fit the whole of the rocks on the page, do not worry. Just do it as far as you can. Sit patiently and wait for everyone else to catch up and finish their bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start over the far side. You only want to come maybe just a little tiny way in from the edge. Okay, so we're first of all, we're going to do some like waves because the rocks are not sort of really smooth. They're sort of all, they're really old and ancient, so they've all weathered a bit. So it comes sad face up. Happy face, sad face, and then I'm just going to go up like that. Okay, just see if we can get just a tiny bit of the light. Let's change the lighting. Okay, then we're going to come up like a diagonal, just a little wave. Up like a diagonal. The next bit we're going to do is come down with another wave. You're going to come down as far, make sure your lengths come down to the same. Now you're going to have your horizon line is going to be across. Okay, so we don't want to go, um, we want more or less all our rocks to be on the same line when they come down. The next rock we're going to do, we're going to leave a little gap because this rock is close together. We're going to come up. Do a little wave again. And I'm going to come just a little bit higher. So you're coming up more in a very gentle diagonal. Over and down, sad face. Now this is this little bit of rock's got a little jutting out bit. So we're going to sort of come down. I'm going to smooth it off with a happy face. Come out, down, in. It almost looks like a little nose coming out the side. You're going to come in a little bit from the bottom. There. Come down. Sad face over. Straight down. And again, you're coming down to where this line is. You're more or less coming in a straight line. Now we're going to put a couple of lines on these and just do finish this rock off. So to make this rock look... Um, let's say rectangle, we're just going to add a wavy line. So we're going to come down, happy face, sad face, down. That's going to give it an edge there, and then that's the, the flat face across the side, and that would be the side of it. The next bit is going to come happy face, sad face, down this one. Just a little way, you haven't got to go right to the bottom, just in the middle. And then where we've got this line, and this little nose bit at the end of the nose, just do a little bit of a white there. And that's going to make it look like it, it's coming all the way down the side. Next we're going to add the top on. So on the top, we're going to come a little way in from rock one. So it's called underneath. I'm going to name mine rock one, rock two. So you can see where they are when I'm talking about them. So at the top of rock one, we're going to come out for a diagonal up. Up for a diagonal because this rock's diagonal to form our circle and straight down. 
Next bit we're going to do is diagonal coming back down, straight down there. Try and put my other picture up so I can see. Next bit we're going to do is just a wavy line across the top. Just a little wavy line across there, just above. And then one underneath to say that rock is behind. So just do a line joining those gaps there. So now it looks like we've got our first formation rock. So we're going up, across and down. You can always see like that little nose bit, but it's on the other side. This is taken from a different angle, this one. But you can always see it's that sort of similar shape. The next rock we are going to do is rock three. Okay. So then we're going to come up. From this little round bit, I'm going to come over and do a bit of a gentle sad face over. Happy face, sad face, this will just in that bit. Next I'm going to come up, I'm going to come up, do some waves up and down and round. Then I'm going to come down, happy face, sad face, down the bottom. I can't quite see my picture. Okay. Next bit we're going to do is come up the top. We did this happy face coming out, sad face. We did a couple of bit, uh, bumpy lines, a couple of sad faces. Top here, we're just going to do our wavy line down to so where the edge of the rock is and we're not going to go all the way to the bottom next bit is we're going to come round up from the bottom I might just make this bit a little bit longer just to keep it in line Okay, so then I'm going to call that rock three. Okay, next one, I'm just going to slide my paper across. I'm going to do rock four. So we're going to leave it really tiny, tiny gap this time. We're going to come up. Give it a gentle wave. Okay, we're going to come over this up. Sad face, giving it a gentle wave again. Like that. And then as we come down, we're going to come down, happy face, sad face, and down. So it's another gentle wave. And this is going to be rock four. Okay, now we need to put the top on rock three and four, so we're going to put the top on. So we're going to come up in the middle, we are going to come over, sad face, all the way over, gentle sad face, and down into the middle. So in the middle of rock three, over, across, you can give it a gentle wave to show the rocks are a bit bumpy, and straight down into the middle of rock four. And what we're going to do then is we're going to have a little wave across. And then in between the rocks, we're just going to join that up. And that's going to be our rock, the top on our rock. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple of lines on this one. So all we're going to do in this one is just do a couple of little happy faces or wavy lines across there. Halfway down this line, we're going to do a bit of our perspective that we learned about in our day. So we're going to show that there's rocks right at the back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a gentle sad face in the middle here, in between rock three and four in the gap. I'm going to do another line. And then one really close together to show the underneath. And that's showing us that we've got a rock hidden behind. 
because Stonehenge, as you may have already learnt, Stonehenge is a circle, so this is showing the other side of the circle. Okay, one, oh, so we're going to try and do rock five, okay? Now you can see with these rocks, because we're coming to the middle of the circle, it goes up, sad face, and then you're going to come down this shape you haven't got to do this line don't do this line but that's the shaping you're going to get okay <coughs> next one we're going to do is we're going to come up up sad face over happy face join it up again oh, almost like a step this one is all the rocks are um very different so then we're just going to do a little sad face there so this is the start of rock five okay and we're going to come over diagonally bring that down a little bit we're going to come over out a little bit diagonally in straight down in and diagonal Bit of a funny shape rock that one. Okay. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to do an L shape at the top. So we're going to come in, L facing down for a gentle sad face, and then a happy face underneath, just to add some of the forms and the bumps on the rock. We're next going to come down, we're going to come happy face, sad face down. And then one over this side, right on the edge, just to show the edge of the rock. So just a gentle happy face, sad face. Just make sure you can see that on my picture. Okay, the next last rock. So that's rock five. Rock five is a single rock. It's just a rock on its own. It hasn't got a top. Okay. So we're going to go to rock six and seven. Now I might not get all of this in. I think I'm going to run out of room. So let's have a go and we'll see how much room we got. If you run out of room like me, that's perfectly fine. So next one we're going to do is we are going to come straight up. Whoops. Happy face, sad face. Just give it a little bit of a bump over. Okay. Remember, we're coming up and then we're sloping away and down. So this one is going to start coming down a little bit low on this side. We're going to do a little bump over the top. So a little sad face, happy face. Then you're going to come down. And this one goes, oh, this is interesting. This one goes down like that. It doesn't go down to the bottom. And next one is our rock joined together because we're coming round the circle so the rocks haven't got the gaps in like these ones have so this one comes straight up wavy line over and I'm just going to do mine going off the edge of the page if you haven't and you've got room I'm just going to join this piece of paper in here you can bring this down and just come out like that so just bring it down okay the next bit we're going to do is just add the top on that and then we'll add all the definition lines let's add the top on so we're going to come a little way in from this top bit we're going to come over sad face happy face and then just wiggle it down as a diamond and then we're going to go right to the end and bring that round. If you've got room, if you haven't, you've gone off the page like me, perfectly fine. We don't want 30 children to have all exactly. It's really nice to have a variation of um, art. So then we're going to come across, down, across. And then I'm just going to do this little one in the middle to show that that is sitting on the middle, the underneath. Oops, it's trying to join that in. Okay, you're going to add a couple of lines definition down. So this one's like a little squiggle at the edge. And then we're going to add a bigger line. So we're going to come happy face, sad face, down. 
A little one coming out diagonal. Okay, and then on the big rock, we are going to come down. Happy face, sad face down, just wavy line. And then just another one on the edge. You might not get all that on. Okay, so that is rock six, and that is start rock seven. Well done, guys. That was really easy. We've done Stonehenge. Okay, now for the difficult bit. So we are going, I'm just going to add an horizon line in. You could use a ruler. Mm. Let's have a look at the pictures. Right, they look, if we look at these pictures here, photographs that have taken of Stonehenge, you can see the ground's pretty much flat that it's onto. So let's go and draw a straight line with a ruler underneath. So I'm just going to borrow a ruler. And I'm going to draw a straight line across. Just a straight line lightly across my page. That's going to be my graph. Any little bits of rock that um, haven't met the line, you can just pull them down. Okay, the ones that need to. The ones that need to be short, just make sure they're short. Okay, I'm just going to rub some of these lines out that I've made extra lines to show you what you can do now while I'm doing this is turn your heat of paper over in the middle nice and big not one of these incy wincy little pieces and that these names I can't read them and it takes me ages to try and find them write your name you know nice and big about that size in the middle of your page and your class Okay, and that would be very helpful for me. Let's just rub some of these guidelines because they can be distracting. Okay, I'm going to keep my uh, numbered rocks here so you know what I'm talking about. The next bit we are going to do is I'm going to have a paintbrush and we are going to start thinking about painting now we normally would black outline but i want to add that next time once these are dried okay so what i'm going to do all i've done here is got some tea tea bags in here nice and strong left it soaking for a while so tea bags should be nice strong color brown and I think that's a really good way of, um, rather than watercolour, of trying to get um, stuff to look really old, especially like these really ancient rocks. So it'd be really nice to do that. And then we can add some shading on top later. So what I'm going to do is I'm gently going to paint them. So you can see. Use the water. Don't worry about that blob. Be careful because of the drips, just like Miss Harris just did. I'm just going to paint inside these and what it's going to do is going to stain your paper now you don't want to get loads you need to wipe your drips off the side because if you have too many drips you're just going to put it all over your work and then we won't be able to add the sky or other bits in so what we're just going to do is just add this in because we want this one to dry okay just really gently Next time, what we'll do is we will um, let this dry and then we can add the sky and the grass on. And we can add a bit of um, work on it in pencil. Okay, so can you see it's all coming along nicely? Now as it dries, you might be able to go back to the beginning. So if we do ro one rock at a time, fully do it. And then as the rock one starts to dry, we may be able to go back and start darkening bits on. Okay. Looking good, guys. Not that I can see your work, but I should imagine I know that you'll be doing a fabulous piece of artwork. 
you're my little superstar so I'm going to just do this little rock in the middle don't forget to do this little rock in the middle I'm going to go, keep on going down keep on wiping those drips off we don't want to get too messy and then what we can do is we'll get the brown pencils and we might be able to add a little bit of shading or outline this time in um, a brown colouring pencil just to get rid of these horrible um, and cover these horrible pencil marks. So I know some of you are very heavy handed. Almost done. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be part one of our video. And then we'll have part two. Okay, so we've done our work and painted it and it's looking, it's looking really nice actually. I'm quite pleased with it. So what you can do when we're going back, go back to number one and then where you think the shadows are going to be, we can add another bit of tea. So I know it's going to be a little bit darker underneath here. I know it might be a little bit darker down the side underneath. So I might be able to just go over it with a little bit more tea. So add a bit more shadow. We'll add all the extra shadows in with our pencils and darken it up. But this will help underneath. So just going underneath this side and down. So it'll be dark underneath. Light be catching it, so we might have a bit of dark down this side. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit still a little bit wet. So, what's going to happen probably before you get to the end, the colors will it just run on the top of the water. So, be very gentle, okay? So, then we're going to go this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness underneath. See, that's just completely run down that way. You can leave this to dry for a couple of minutes and then um, have a go. So I'm just going to add that dark. Then I'm going to add just a little bit dark. I'm going to add a little bit dark at the bottom because... Ah! Drip. Just wipe the drip off. A little bit dark at the bottom where the shadows of the... The grass is casting shadows. Okay, so we're almost coming to the end. You can add a bit here where that is. And just leave it. When you um, finish your pictures, remember, because the, the water is still sitting quite loosely on top, what I'd like you to do is just hold it really straight when you um, hold it with two hands when you go to put it to dry anywhere um, because what will happen is if you tilt your paper the water will run and you're going to stain all your water so be really really careful all you can do for the minute if you're still waiting is just keep on going back and working shadows in darker and lighter Okay, you're sure you're going to, these are going to look really good. Okay, and then I'll add part two of the video and we can uh, work on the grass and we can work on a lovely sky for that one. So these are going to dry for the moment. Okay, so we don't want blue skies bleeding into our 